Just letting you know before I get started that this is part 3 of 3 videos. If you'd like to see the other two parts, go ahead and click one of these. If you've seen them already, then continue watching. Enjoy. Welcome back again, people watching this video, because this is part 3, the final part of the Twisted Metal games. This is the last one that you're, you're, you get the idea. Well, ladies, gentlemen, people watching this video in general, this is it. This is the very last Twisted Metal game, and it's called Twisted Metal. Very creative. And so far, this is the only Twisted Metal I've ever gotten the year it came out. And it has a lot of white background, like everywhere, including, well, all except for the disc, actually. And without further delay, let's get started. Do you have to say that for Without every further delay, let's get started. I, uh, would comment on how slow the loading is, but this is a very common thing for PS3 games, so just expect kind of slow loading time. Not here, though. Okay, just give it a minute here. You know, I could have cut this, but man, this is running at top speed, too, and it's taking a minute. There it is. Good old title screen with Sweet Tooth right in your face. And I, uh, apologize in advance for these clips not actually being in HD. I don't really have a HD capture card, so... You know, I'm just able to kind of make these videos HD, but not really. There is a lot of vehicles to choose from on this game. And you notice I just said vehicles, and not characters. That's because there's only four characters you can use in this game. But, any character can use any vehicle. So you could use Sweet Tooth on Reaper right here if you wanted to. Which is pretty cool. Now while Twisted Metal 4 may be good for beginners of the older series, for this one... Well, you've got this training area. It gives you unlimited ammo on all the weapons and just tells you how to do things and that's pretty cool. You know, pretty good for beginners of this type of twist of metal. There's quite a few ways to be able to play this game and obviously I'm going to be using the traditional style but I was just pointing that out because it's pretty cool. Like for one thing, if a map is really big and a lot of these are really big, you can customize the size of it. Like being able to play in a certain area if you have just like two people or something. Any day now. Well, they just really throw you right into the action when you start it. As you can tell, Sweet Tooth's vehicle looks more like it did in the first two games. There is a lot more things you can destroy in this game. It's really great. And I mean more than just poles and trees. Unlike the original Twisted Metal and Twisted Metal Black, this one was pretty late into the PS3's life cycle. I mean, this game came out the same year as the Vita and Wii U, and just the year before the PS4 and Xbox One. Ooh, I wouldn't mind destroying a football field. Ugh, that's not as good as the Twisted Metal Black. That was more realistic. Transformers must have really had an impact on whoever came up with this idea. You mean you don't like the robot thing? No, it's freaking awesome, it's just a little ridiculous. Oh well. The main character is a clown with a flaming head, so, you know. It does feel a bit strange controlling it though, because it's basically like moving a vehicle. You know, holding square to move it. If you're wondering who this dude is, uh, that's Sweet Tooth's teammate. Because in this game, all the characters have teammates, I guess they're called. And, um... Okay, I'll go ahead and explain the physics. They're kind of weird. They're, how you say... They're weird. That's all I can say is sometimes the way the physics are kind of weird. Anyway, back to the teammate thing. Each character has their own team. And, you know, it's still kind of in the story in a way. But, um... Yeah, that's how you're able to get more than four players at once. You know, non-locally. Uh, I think I want to go shopping. Let's see here. Hmm... Oh, well, I'm destroying most of the things, so I don't think they'll be pretty good. They'll maybe spoiled a little bit. Oh well. And like I was saying earlier about these levels being really big, I mean, they are huge. This was most likely done due to the uh, online mode, obviously. 
Because, I mean, if you can have up to 16 players, they're really going to need space to be able to battle people. Now let's move on to a different level. Black Rock Stadium. You may recognize this place from Super Sm I mean, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, if you've played it. Alright, I'm going to rush right in... Into the action. Well, this is certainly new for Axel. It's the uh, spin dash from Sonic the Hedgehog. But really, it seems like the Axle vehicle is one of the best vehicles in this game. That's probably why it started out as a pre-order bonus. Until it randomly appeared, I guess in an update? I'm not sure, but I'm glad it's here. Now, I don't actually have a clip of it, but the really cool thing in some parts of the story mode is that you can actually change between three different vehicles. There would be a garage you would go to to switch out between the vehicles. Yeah, they decided to add this announcer guy for some reason. I mean, it sounds kind of cool, but it can get a little annoying whenever he just keeps mentioning that your specials back up. There's this truck you can run in here with certain vehicles, and it'll restore your health, but in situations like this, it's not always the best. Okay, at some point I'm gonna need to kill somebody, I win some way. Oh, well, there we go. Death destroyed. All right, time to kill somebody else. Oh, we go. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, these things are really annoying when they happen to you. You can do them yourself, but which is extremely irritating. But other than that, and sometimes the physics, this game holds up pretty well. It doesn't get irritating all that much. Now, what I'm about to show you is only available as of right now in this twisted metal: a helicopter. That's right, gentles and ladies, men. You can use a helicopter in this game. And probably the first thing that comes to your mind is that this is very cheap. Well, it is a little bit, but not as much as you probably think. While, yes, you can fly around just about anywhere you want to, almost every single weapon locks onto an opponent, which means the helicopter too. So while using the helicopter, you can expect randomly getting hit by bullets all the time. And it seems like very few weapons actually work with the helicopter. I mean, it does have a couple of really nice specials, but that's you just about need them to be able to kill anyone. And also, as you can imagine, the controls are a little bit different, so it kind of throws you off. So really, it's actually harder when you use the helicopter, in a way. But if you're one of those people who like to look for easter eggs or something that's really high up in the level, then obviously this is the best option. And also, as you can imagine, you can't use the health truck. And I'm not certain, but I think that running into pedestrians can cause you to get more health, although it's not exactly a clean kill. You gotta give him credit though, as much as he runs through houses and all that stuff, he does keep everything clean and uh, you know, it's- Oh shoot, it's definity, man. Of course there's just certain types of people that do certain types of things in this game. Now let's move on to the story. Oh, I get why they're playing that. The uh, people in this game are uh, crazy. No, just more trash on the side of the road. She was the one. She was the only one. Wait, didn't you just say? No, just more trash on the side of the road. Is there something you're not telling us, Sweet Tooth? Are you confused? Do you need something? She was the only one who ever escaped. Oh, you're talking about and that girl. I toyed with her. I teased her. Oh, she was delightful. If she's so delightful, then why'd you want to kill her? And, uh, yes, these cutscenes are in live action. That stupid bitch. She actually hurt me. Well, gee, I wonder why. By the way, you're going to be seeing this scene a lot throughout Sweet Tooth's story. That's how she managed to escape. Keep the blood in. You don't want to pull out. You don't want to pull it out. That, oh. That. And that damned picture. What, did the picture get away too? The story mode in this game is a lot like the newest Mortal Kombat's story modes. 
After using one character, you go to another character, and then to another character. Except here, it's just, you use just three, and I'm not going to spoil anything for you. And this time, I'm going to finish what I started. I think I got that subtitles. In fact, I can see that better than I can see you. Here's where Sweet Sue's story gets a bit morbid. More than usual. I could sense where she was. Her fear. It was so ripe. This would be fun. So he starts killing a bunch of people in this hospital. That, uh, seems a little twisted. It was like Christmas morning. Every hallway filled with little gifts. Little, tiny, blood-filled gifts. That's the best kind, you know. Looking back, I'm so glad I decided to take the stairs. See, Sweet Tooth can be a funny guy. So after killing all those people in the hospital, he finally finds the room that that girl was in. Somewhere I think Sweet Tooth needs to visit more often. Oh, oh. oh, that was him. I bet no one could have guessed that. So originally, Sweet Tooth was a nice guy, and you know, delivering ice cream to the little children. And well, you know, cliched much? Eh, a little bit. And so he carves a Sweet Tooth mask and loses his mind, and um. For my first murders, I chose the perfect targets. That happens. The perfect family. I chose his family. Well, it's a good start, you know? Marcus, no! Marcus doesn't live here anymore. Please, no! Marcus, wait! Shut up and bleed, you motherfucker! <laughs> ha! A reference to so Twist of Metal Black. Well, it looks like he's generous. He's gonna let that guy live. I mean, you know, he seems pretty- Where did she go? Never mind. Even though this game is rated M, you can tell that they're showing that they still can't say certain words, and so that means- I'll find her. I'll fucking find her. Once again, never mind. Oh, that's his daughter. I don't have them all recorded, but there are a lot more different modes on this game, including racing and something called nuke mode and all that. I'm gonna have to say, this is probably my third favorite Twisted Metal game. Ha. Huh. So on that note, here's my final score for this game. And if you're kinda sad that this is the last Twisted Metal game so far, well, don't worry, because Sweet Tooth's latest appearance in video game is... Um... Okay. Let's try this again. Sweet Tooth's latest appearance in a good video game is PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Well, it's good enough. Well, that was a great Halloween experience. We've seen games from Twisted Metal all the way to Twisted Metal. You know. There hasn't been any other announcement for a new Twisted Metal game, but I, I'm not sure there could be one because it did take a while for the PS3 one to come out. But at the same time, if they were to end it, it's kind of on a cliffhanger, but, you know, it was still a pretty good series. I very much enjoy it. So if you ever find these games at a good price, I would suggest getting them. And if you find the terrible ones, or the ones that aren't so good, for a smaller price, then get them just to collect them, I guess. I don't know. So if you don't have these and you're ever thinking about getting them, I would suggest buying them. They're on the PSN for, uh, well, I think I've already told you about that. But the other ones, don't break your back or anything trying to find them, because, uh, you know, since they're Sony and not Nintendo, 
you'll probably find them for a good cheap price, or cheap enough anyway. Now if you excuse me, I gotta go off camera and do something else because we're ending the video now. You're saying, I mean, there's a little extra, but you know. Well, I'll be back there soon, Dan. I just gotta do something real quick. <sighs> well, I never thought this day would come. I just sure hope Dan's gonna be ready. For probably the biggest task he's ever had to face. Even if Dan isn't. I'll be ready, you red-eyed scumbag. Don't be so sure of yourself, Git. You and Dan will die.